vlog. It is already Wednesday. Um, I didn't read Monday or Tuesday or the weekend. Um, I did start an audiobook yesterday actually. I am reading Get a Life Chloe Brown. I'm on chapter six. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the romantic tension is starting to build. I'm realizing it is not a YA like I thought. It is an adult romance if anyone is looking into reading it. It's an adult romance. <laughs> um, nothing too sexually explicit yet, but definitely some things. So um, I am on chapter six of that. I'm going to listen to that a little bit more while I have breakfast and um, just sort of I've gotten ready for the day and it's already nine. I definitely meant to be up. I meant to be up at like seven and I did not do that. It's really hard to keep to a schedule when I'm just at home. Um, but I'm gonna go have some breakfast. I got some iced coffee. Like I put, I made a cup last night and put it in the fridge so it would be cold for today. So I'm gonna go have that and um, just do homework all day. I've got a lot of homework. Um, but I thought I would take you on the whole day, homework included, just because I'm bored and making reading vlogs is fun. in a couple days so this morning I just uh, spent a couple hours doing homework I just relaxed for a bit and took a bath and then in that time I was actually able to finish the Chloe Brown book um, get a life Chloe Brown I enjoyed it it was a fun little romance I loved all the representation that was weaved into the story and the characters it was really enjoyable overall I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars and I did actually finally start blood promise last night I am 60 pages in my goal is to maybe get to 100 pages, maybe 150 pages today. Um, granted, I don't get too distracted. There's also a Harry Potter marathon on, and I also really feel like watching Criminal Minds, so we'll see. But um, I have the rest of the evening off. I've got some dinner cooking, and um, I'm just going to read and relax and chill out and uh, probably do that for the rest of the weekend. I was kind of planning on doing a bit of a read-a-thon this weekend or at least trying to focus on read reading this weekend, trying to catch up on my Goodreads goal. Still like eight books behind, but um, I was trying to like, brainstorm some like short ones I could read, but I don't have anything yet for now. I'm gonna read Blood Promise and I actually just did start Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because it was available uh, as an audiobook on Libby and it's almost never available so took the opportunity and uh, I read chapter one of that so that is my update and I will update you later. Hello it is Saturday and I thought I would do a reading update. I haven't done much yet today. Um, I got up I worked out and I took a shower and stuff but um, last night I was able to get 160 pages into Blood Promise and I am really liking it so far. Not much has happened quite yet but I just am liking seeing the dynamic of Rose and Lissa separated because Rose can still check up on Lissa with the uh, bond but Lissa doesn't know where Rose is or what's really going on so I really kind of like that change in dynamic I think as characters that's what they needed they needed something to separate them and for and then later I assume they'll come back together and do something but um I'm really liking it I kind of have some theories of what could happen next we shall see so it's a really fast read that's why I like these books so much this one is longer it is just about 500 pages like 502 pages or something um so it might take me a little bit longer than the other ones although the other ones each took me like a week or so but i'm hoping to get some more reading done today i have some chores to do and there is a little bit of homework i'd like to get done we'll see if that happens um and then other than that i'm just focusing on reading this weekend um there is a harry potter marathon on which i might you know 
watch for a little bit. But, um, that is my update for now. I am gonna go get my chores done and I will update you later. Hello, it is late Sunday night, but I wanted to do a reading update. I ended up getting to page 318 of this last night and so many things have happened. It's getting so crazy and I cannot wait to keep reading. My plan was to finish reading it today and then and, and then I watched 25 episodes of Shit's Creek. So I didn't finish, but I am planning on reading a little bit more tonight. It's pretty late, but I think I could read like maybe 100 pages. That's my goal. And then I can finish the rest tomorrow after I'm done with my homework. Um, but yeah, it's uh, picking up. I don't know how we're going to get out of the situation that we're in with Rose right now and other characters like how it can reasonably be fixed but i'm hoping for the best so i'm gonna go read i'm loving it i'm really loving it and it's definitely i think gonna end to a very interesting it's going to lead to a very interesting ending hi so an update i said i was just gonna read a little bit and then go to bed um but now it's 1 a.m and i read the whole thing because like I physically could not stop reading this book until I knew what was happening. I just, so much, so much, and like, it's 1am, my thoughts are not going to work very well, but like, the ending and the escape that Rose had to make was so intense and like, the whole spirit bond over the different levels and the fighting and the I know I'm not making any sense but it was insane I really liked this one and it was such a terrible thing to read all the stuff Rose had to go through but like at the same time it was so wild and just so well written it was it I was on the edge of my seat obviously because I literally couldn't stop reading and it only took me like an hour and a half to finish the rest of it yeah, that was crazy. I'm gonna start the next one tomorrow. I can't even... I want to know, so there was a second villain in this one, um, sort of, and I want to know what her end game was. Like, does she just want more power? Does she... I don't know. I didn't trust her. Well, obviously I didn't trust her. She was a villain. Um, also, we found out the identity of Rose's dad. I won't say who it was in case you're like me and you're one of the last people on this planet not to read this series. Um... I feel like I should have seen that identity coming and I didn't um, but it was great um, yeah that's a lot there's a lot that happened and the plan in the next book I, I now I see light at the end of the tunnel of how this could play out and I like the idea of it um, except for the major stepping stone they have to take to get to that plan um, is not gonna go well I can just tell you that now um so that is gonna be fun this is number four I think yeah this is number four so I have five and six left um so that's fun um hopefully I can maybe finish those both this week because I also am planning on doing a complete Harry Potter reread so okay um I'm gonna go to bed because I meant to go to bed you know, an hour ago, um, and I still have, I'm supposed to get up and do schoolwork all day tomorrow, so I should get some sleep, um, so this was fun, I, that killed me, okay, I don't know if anything I've said now has made sense, but it's 1am, so I really can't be blamed, uh, so good night, I'll update you tomorrow when I start the next one. Hello, a really quick update, it is thursday it's thursday night um it's like only like 10 o'clock but i am exhausted i didn't even do that much today like i uh did homework and just hung out and i did do zumba um but i'm super tired and i wanted to read more tonight but like i'm falling asleep so i did get some reading though done i am 100 pages into spirit bound and i'm loving it the last one definitely had a slower start because it had Rose traveling and it was kind of just focusing on her trying to get to where she needed to go even though she didn't know where she needed to go and this one is jumping into the action a lot faster which I like that she's graduated they are on a mission it's an illegal mission but I like it and I like what it could promise um, and I like that they're bringing more people in the last one was just Rose against the world basically and this one she's got Lissa this time and she's um 
gotten one of the other guardians to help another guardian and like it, I think it'll be more interesting with sort of a, a cast of characters on this journey and I'm very excited to keep reading. My goal is to finish it this weekend. It is reading rush this weekend um, so my TBR is to finish this, to finish Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and to pick up a um, graphic novel I'm thinking or a really short book because one of the prompts is to read a book in one spot and so it makes mo most sense for me to sit down pick up a short book that I can sit and read in one spot and then I'll go over the other prompts later in the reading vlog. I am very tired and I'm gonna go to bed so um, but that is my little update and I'll update you tomorrow. <laughs> It's Friday night. I don't think I updated earlier like I said in my head I was going to, um, but I am 260 pages into Spirit Bound. I am very much enjoying it. It's much more fast paced. A big, big thing just happened and I haven't processed it yet because it like literally just happened on this page and I haven't read this page yet. Um, I might read a little bit more before I go to bed tonight. Um, but I also want to watch Criminal Minds. We'll see. Um, but I definitely will be able to finish this this weekend. I'm hoping tomorrow. I have like 220-ish, 230 pages left, which is not bad at all. I could do that in a day, I think, for a Vampire Academy book. So my goal is to finish this tomorrow or Sunday at the latest. I'm very excited to see how this goes. And then after this, I just have one book left in the series, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I'm gonna go take my makeup off and get ready for bed and decide how much reading I'm gonna do versus criminal minds watching. So good night. Hello. It is almost 1.30 if you can see that. Um, I swear, I sat down to read one, maybe two chapters. And I finished the rest of it because so much happened. I mean, the one chapter that, the first chapter that I sat down to read, literally all hell broke loose and then big, big thing happened. And then I needed to know how that turned out. And then I just kept reading and then another big thing happened. And then the last couple chapters, like the last two chapters, oh my God. I don't even know what to say. It was so good. Also, the first, so Adrian is a character. He is in, first in uh, Frostbite. And from the beginning, like, I tolerated him. He was funny. Didn't really care that much about him, da da da. But in this book, I kind of love him. And I don't want to love him because I'm conflicted. I don't think I'd love him with Rose necessarily. I think they've got some good scenes like one of the scenes in the last couple chapters was top notch but like I really am starting to love him as a person like he's a mess like all the time he's a complete mess but he's actually got a really big heart and I really love him there was a lot there's a lot of stuff that I guessed but there's also a lot of stuff that I could have never thought was going to happen like the death at the end of this I don't know if this is a spoiler I feel like I'm one of the few people left in the book community that has not read the Vampire Academy series. But um, now I'm on the last one. What's the last one called? Last Sacrifice. Ooh, I'm excited. Hopefully I'll finish that in the next couple days too. I don't know how long that one is. And then I have had a lot of people actually recommend the Bloodline series to me too. We'll see if I read that one. I don't think I own them. And the other, I can't imagine a Vampire Academy story like set in this world without Rose. She's like the highlight of this whole thing. She, I just love her so much. She's so funny and has so much spark and just, she's fantastic and I love her. And it's 1.30 in the morning and I'm, last time I was like exhausted and went straight to bed, but I'm just so hyped up by this craziness. But I should go to bed because I still, I have to do all the homework tomorrow that I ignored today. So, online nursing school. It's my first book of the reading rush done. I didn't read the whole thing this weekend, but honestly, I read like 400 of the 500 pages this weekend, so whatever. I'll finish Sorcerer's Stone tomorrow, and then I still have to pick out a book for read, a book that is in one spot, and or like you read a book in one spot. I I hate that prompt. I'm like I can't sit in one place for that long, even if the book is short. 
Um, but I'm going to try and find the shortest book I have, maybe pick out a graphic novel, maybe? Or I was going to look on my shelf and just try and find the one with the least amount of pages so I can realistically, like, read it in one spot. Like, even taking breaks. I like to go in different places around the house, but I guess I'm going to go to sleep now. This series, I didn't expect to love it so much, if I'm being honest. And, like, I love, love it. It's great. I wish I had read it back when it was all the hype. I'm so late to the party, but I'm here and that's all that matters, right? Okay, I'm gonna go to bed, I guess. So I will update you tomorrow. Hello, it is Saturday morning now and I have chosen my next book in the reading rush. I took quite a while to try and decide what I wanted to read for the book to read in one place. I wanted something quick, one, so I only have to sit in one place for a minimal amount of time, and two, my Goodread goal could really use the buffers. So I picked up Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. I rented it on um, the library app and I don't have my Kindle um, because it's at my apartment and I'm here so I'm just gonna have to read it on my phone. I read um, her other three poetry books as well and I read all three, the first three in one day so um, and I do like them. They're not always my favorite. There's some that I think are a little too convoluted but um, for the most part I do enjoy the ideas that she presents. So I'm going to sit down and read that now and then I have an hour and a half left of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and then I'll be done with my Reading Rush TBR which is pretty cool. I actually participated for once. And I also went and grabbed this, Last Sacrifice. This is the last book. This one's close to 600 pages which is crazy but I feel like I can still get through it pretty fast in the next couple of days. This will be interesting. I'm excited. Um, I don't know if I'll start this today. Um, I'm just waiting for my mom to be done teaching her Zoom class um, and then I would like to actually get some homework done today because there's a lot of stuff I didn't do yesterday because I didn't want to but I should do it today. Um, but I'm gonna go read this poetry book and maybe finish the Harry Potter book and I'll update you later. Well, it's only like an hour or so later. I'm not really sure what time I did the update. But I read Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. Um, I really enjoyed it actually. I think it was definitely my favorite compared to her other poetry collections. Um, I read it in like 30 minutes. I love quick poetry books. And there was a lot of really good ones in that one. So I give that one I think a four stars. And then I also happened um, just to pick up this little romance novella called A Pinch of Sugar by Jessa Kane. My friend had sent it to me. She's like, oh, if you need a quick book, try this. Um, so I read that too, the whole thing. It was only 70 pages, so now you know it wasn't exactly a full-length novel, but it was a fun little read too. So um, I got a lot of reading done, and I still plan on finishing Harry Potter today. Right now I'm going to go drink my coffee and do some homework because uh, I need to, you know, still get stuff done today, but I will update you later. Hello, an update. So I actually was going to close this reading vlog out and post it and then I realized because it's been two weeks and now it's been three weeks and then I didn't do that. So I'm just going to keep going until I'm done with my current read. But Friday, by the way, the 24th-ish. Um, I am only 60 pages into Last Sacrifice. This whole recording in the mirror thing is not working how I wanted it to, but it's too late. Um, I'm about 60 pages into this. I have not read hardly at all this week so um <laughs> but I'm gonna try and finish that this weekend that's my goal and hopefully um finish my reading vlog with that I am um, just ordered some Chinese food and I'm going to hopefully get some reading done tonight but also I have two episodes left in season 14 of Criminal Minds and really want to finish that so <laughs> We'll see how productive I get, but it's only like 4.30 or 5. So I am going to go read a bit. I'll have some nice dinner and just have a nice night. And um, I will update you when I am further into my read. Hello, it is Saturday afternoon. A reading update. I am 230 pages into Last Sacrifice. It is interesting so far. Um, they are on the run, basically. And we're kind of in the, like, in this zone where nothing's happening yet, but there's these two maybe three distinct plans that are being set in place so that's interesting and I'm excited to see how that comes to be and what happens with that. For right now I'm gonna take a break from reading. I'm gonna watch some Criminal Minds and I'm gonna dye my hair pink because I'm bored so into the bathroom we go. So I got this Joico color butter in pink, rose pink, 
pink rose whatever off amazon um it's just a coloring and conditioner so i don't have to worry too much about it like staying my hair or staying for longer than i want it this should only last like two weeks so this is just something fun i'm gonna do because why not um but i'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my hair and i will see you in a little bit so all the pink coloring conditioner is in i ended up using the whole jar uh i don't know how well it's gonna show up on my hair it doesn't look super promising maybe it'll just be like a nice tint i don't know but i'm gonna go finish this episode of criminal minds and then rinse it out and we'll see how it looks from there hello it is hours later i forgot to update but this is how my hair ended up turning out it's a bit less pink than i was expecting although i should have not expected too much it was a coloring conditioner um so it's just quite a, sort of more of like a tinge of pink a tint of pink um my hair was has, is darker than my usual natural blonde so i um definitely got a darker color like it didn't apply as much but it was fun and it made my hair really soft because it was a conditioner so um and i got a couple good selfies out of it so that's what matters right very subtle tint that you can see in certain lights but it was fun. After that, I finished watching Schitt's Creek, which was fantastic, and I loved that. I did not read that much more. If anything more, I'm on page 242. I read 12 more pages since I last updated. I actually left off in the middle of a chapter. Why did I do that? I should probably... I should probably finish the chapter. Um, and then I'm gonna watch more Criminal Minds, because if you've seen season 15 of Criminal Minds, you will understand. Um, if you've also happened to watch Psych and hate a character from Psych as much as I do, and this character, the actress of, is now on Criminal Minds doing things I'm not sure I like, that's such a niche specific thing that probably only applies to me, but yeah, I'm gonna go finish that chapter, watch a little TV, and go to bed because it's already like 11 or so. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to finish Vampire Academy tomorrow. It's Sunday, so I don't have anything to do. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and update you later. This reading walk's gonna end up being really long, isn't it? Oh well. Hello. So it is a very late Sunday night. It is actually, I think, just about midnight, 11.59. And I've been reading like all day, and I finished last sacrifice and okay first off five out of five stars 100 percent this was just a wild roller coaster and it was just the perfect ending to the series the last couple chapters made me so happy and i loved it so much the big twist at the end first of all I didn't see coming at all until like a few pages before we got there, like not even like a f yeah. And I was I saw it and I was like, no, that can't be true. And then it was, and that hurt, and then a lot. Um, I feel like there's still some unresolved stuff, which maybe is covered in the Bloodline series. Um, I was gonna look up and see which characters are present in that. There's. Um, I think the first chapter in here i think sydney is here i don't know if it's the same sydney as this series i don't know i didn't plan on reading the bloodline series but if it's following some of the characters from this i probably will um i don't own them though i don't think so i'd have to go find them but i'm rambling but so much happened it was so good i love this series so much more than i expected like rose is definitely one of my favorite characters like of all time anywhere now she's so strong but she's so flawed and so funny and i just love her so much and dimitri too he definitely grew so much like he's still the same person at heart but he went through a lot obviously and um he grew a lot from that and i really really liked it um rose's parents were hilarious towards the end that was fun uh Christian I still love. Lissa definitely grew up a lot too and um, where she ends up at the end, perfect. That in my opinion sets up for a whole second series. You know like how Percy Jackson has like the multiple series or like um, Cassandra Clare has multiple series that build off each other. I feel like that could be a whole other series but whatever. Um, maybe that's what Bloodlines is. I have literally no idea what it's about. Um, but yeah I loved it. The one thing there are two things that I think are left, or one big thing that's left open at the end of this one with Adrian. He, his story is not resolved at all. 
um, and I don't really like how he was left but that makes me think he's a part of the Bloodline series. I don't know, maybe that's just wishful thinking. And then there is another big twist that happened at the end um, with Rose and Lissa that I definitely did not expect and I like it because it opens up for a new beginning but I also feel that loss and it just really hurt at the same time. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed. My plan was to finish Criminal Minds tonight too but it's midnight and I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to bed but yeah, that's the end of this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I can't believe I finished this series. I, what am I supposed to read now? I'm rereading the Harry Potter series right now, but like, I I have been reading these Vampire Academy books for like, had like two months, which I've never like I don't do a lot of reading back to back like that. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll try and find the Bloodline series and just keep going. I love the just the magical world and like how much this series each book was better than the last and they just built upon the world and they built upon the characters and the stakes just got pun intended the stakes just got higher and higher with the problems they were facing but I really really love this series and I don't know what to do with my life now so I guess I'll just go to bed and I should probably get some sleep to wake up tomorrow and study for the two tests I have this week that I haven't studied for so Awesome. Okay. Good night. Thank you for watching. Um, I don't know when my next reading vlog will be up because I think I'm going to focus on Harry Potter right now, but um, I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.